Hi, my name's Mark, and in this video, I'm going to share with you why GMAS is the right email marketing tool for your business. Don't forget to click the link below to see how GMAS stacks up against other email marketing solutions. I've used quite a lot of different email software platforms, uh, including, gosh, uh, the 800-pound gorilla, no pun intended, MailChimp. I left MailChimp because I found their uh, wasn't exactly what I was looking to do. Specifically, I need to be able to do cold email outreach. Um, and they really just didn't have a lot of the functionality that I needed, too many permissions. It was a little too hokey and it was expensive, frankly. Then I tried Buzz Builder, another excellent platform. Did a lot of what I needed it to do in the beginning, but then there was a lot of limitation on the amount of email you could send and deliverability started to suffer. And my email address got snarled up and the deliverability of emails just wasn't, they weren't getting to my recipients. They're getting snared in spam, um, spam folders or whatever. So that was Buzz Builder. Uh, then most recently we used Interseller and we had a good run with them. And frankly, I do like it, but um, it became a, a cost issue. It was an expensive platform to run. And again, the volume of emails was either limited in, what I, in terms of how much I could send in a day per email address without getting into trouble, or it was a question of really that the platform itself began to limit you depending on how much email you were sending or, or whatever formulas they use. Uh, deliverability was good, but again, it was about volume, um, for specifically, again, for cold email. And then we found GMAS. The reasons behind our selection of GMAS were several. Uh, number one was just an ease of use. So we had, you know, getting everybody set up was, was really simple. I mean, all, all they're, really all they're using is an Excel spreadsheet where you'd name the column with whatever data you have, first name, last name, company, you know, and you could obviously get as customized as you, as you want. Inserting that to customize emails, even though they're cold emails and you're sending hundreds or thousands in a day, the customization can get really, really interesting. So, and it saves an awful lot of time versus crafting a new email over and over. But still, again, it's about that customization and personalization and having a one-to-one -one communication with your recipient versus a clearly a cold blast. Uh, two was flexibility in getting delivery. Obviously, deliverability is super key, right? I mean, that's how we survive is get, filling, that, t t filling the funnel. Um, so... They have a lot of different methods that are also easy to input to ensure deliverability. Everything from spacing out the time of your emails, how many they send. You can send every second, you know, the whole 5,000 emails in one fail swoop or every five minutes and everything in between. Um, you can play around with different campaigns. So you can do A-B tests. It's not the simplest thing. I didn't mind that because it's an easy workaround. And basically, you just set up a couple different campaigns, have a couple different Excel spreadsheets, and different, um, uh, uh, say, subject lines to A-B test subject lines. Uh, it's very easy on the fly to tweak your emails mid-campaign. Um, and there's an awful lot of other good functionality. You can easily test your deliverability. Again, on the fly, ongoing, whenever you want to. They have some great tools. I also found that uh, when it comes to their, you know, if you have a question, it's really, really easy to get detailed answers, which for a guy that you know, um, I don't have a lot of patience. <laughs> I'm a typical New Yorker, right? If it doesn't work, I'm not going to sit there and struggle for very long to figure it out. So they make it easy. All you do is type into the into your search, uh, into your browser, GMAS plus whatever it is you're trying to do. And it'll direct you to a link in their blog. And they have pretty much any answer you want from the basics of getting it set up to extremely complex um, issues, whatever they might be. So GMAS was just really, so it was setting it up, um, getting, you can be up and running literally in minutes and uh, deliverability. 
they, they have excellent deliverability. So my open rates, my clicks, everything uh, doubled or tripled, even when I'm sending a high volume to a cold email list, right? So those are probably the big reasons that pop into my mind as to why I chose GMAS. The onboarding process of GMAS and implementing it into my business was very, very easy. So all you have to do is you have a sp an Excel or CSV spreadsheet, actually a CSV spreadsheet of your contacts. And when you go in, when you open up Gmail, which is what we've been using for the last 12 years, and I can't speak for Outlook, uh, but it, assuming everybody's using Gmail for business um, or most, it's such a simple process. When you open up the Compose window, you have literally two different buttons. One is the Send button and one is the GMAS button. And all you do is at the top of your email, you'll click on um, a spreadsheet icon. You'll link the spreadsheet you want to incorporate. Then you go to the GMAS button and there's a little down arrow next to it. Click on it. It slides open and it gives you all these different options to easily set everything up. Compose your message within that. Um, insert the custom fields. It's as simple as just a drop down menu where you want to insert the field. I mean, really is a no brainer to get started. And that was, that was key. We didn't want to have anything complicated. We didn't want to have to jump through it too many flaming hoops. And in, in GMAS's case, there was no flaming hoops. It was so easy. So the integration process was, was seamless. And, um, you know, as a test, this it's kind of my litmus test. I had my mom try it. And she's 75 years old and the most inept, technical-minded person you could even imagine. She doesn't know how to jo join a Zoom, okay? She could do it. So right then and there, I knew, you know, this is, this is a no-brainer for the business. <laughs> My recommendations for anyone new to GMAS or considering GMAS is absolutely well worth it. Number one is, for me, was, uh, was cost. It's... For the cost, you might can think that it's not as robust as some of the other platforms out there, but it is absolutely everything any salesperson could ever need. Limitations on sending are easy to overcome, uh, and setting it up is easy. If my other recommendation is, you know, make sure you test your email. And what you would do is put your own email address into the spreadsheet in the first field or, or somewhere in the spreadsheet so you can adequately run a test before you actually hit send. Um, if it's your very first time using it, that's a recommendation so that way you know what you're getting. Uh, if the email doesn't come through exactly how you expected, you could then, another recommendation is, Create a very, very small subset of your list. Maybe grab just five contacts, something like that. And there's a when you go to GMAS, there's a little drop down arrow, like I said, on the little red GMAS button within the compose, like within your little compose window. Um, you can actually link that mini spreadsheet and set create emails as drafts instead of actually sending them. So that way, just to be safe, before you send a campaign or your first campaign, and I still do it occasionally, but um, you can actually see all the emails of how they'll actually look. And those come out perfect every time. With a test, you know, sometimes they look wonderful and sometimes they can be a little bit funky. And I don't know why. Occasionally, no big deal. But like I said, that's that would be my one recommendation. Just make sure everything looks good before you actually hit send. Obviously, a natural thing. Um, and everything's the way you want it. And especially if you're running, if you have a lot of customization in the email, a lot of customized fields, helpful. Uh, the other thing that I only stumbled, I mean, I've been using it for two years and that something else I stumbled upon recently was being able to embed images and you have an option. You can either do let GMAS choose, you can insert image, um, excuse me, host image or embed image. There we go. So for deliverability purposes, if you're going to be sending the same image to a bunch of people, the embed option is definitely vastly superior. I've tested that many different ways. And that was another little 
trick if you're sending images that works well. Images, video, etc. Um, it just improves your deliverability. It improves how it looks. And I would say, other than that, you know, just enjoy GMAS. It's a heck of a platform.